So this is Breach. It's an upcoming free-to-play dungeon brawler, a game that I jumped into during its recent alpha testing phase over the weekend and I had a lot of fun while doing it, especially when I got to play as the Veil Demon. Now, first off, this video is not sponsored in any way. I just had a lot of fun while playing Breach and thought it was definitely worth showing off. Now, Breach, like I said, is an action RPG dungeon brawler with a mythical kind of magical kind of gun toting theme that's a really wide range of themes for it to be fulfilling but it is what it is now with loads of different heroes in this game as well to choose from but it's got a really nice twist to the typical dungeon brawler it's not as simple as just grouping up with friends or randoms and running the dungeon and collecting the loots there is a fifth player a veiled demon a player that you can't deal any damage to and you can't kill them but it can trap you, it can slow you, it can poison you, it can summon in elite monsters and it can take control of any demon including elites that it summons in or the end boss as well in order to try and wipe your squad out. So it's basically there to just be a huge pain in the arse. Now while you're trying your best to avoid all of the traps and getting caught by this veil demon and slowed down, you are also, you and your squad are also trying to survive against waves of demons while also trying to complete objectives in certain rooms. So you and your team really need to work together if you want to beat this dungeon. Now it's a bit like Evolve in that respect with the Veil Demon because it's one team against one monster but it's a little bit different but it is a lot of fun as well. There's a whole lot going on in each of these missions or each of these dungeons. Actually in a few of the games that I managed to play as the Veil Demon I managed to kill the other team simply by waiting for one of the players to get separated from the party, slowing him down, spawning in an elite on top of him and basically kicking the crap out of him. Now, it kind of snowballed from there with the other teammates coming up trying to revive him and while they were trying to revive him I was jumping out of the elite unit, dropping traps, jumping back into the elite unit and kicking the crap out of them as well and of course victory for potato. So it was fun. Now the progression for each of these dungeons is pretty straightforward as well. You and your team move from room to room and in each one of these rooms you will have to complete a certain objective. Whether it's escorting a drone or capturing two devices or it could be killing as many demons as you possibly can before the timer runs out. All while trying to I guess not get caught or not get held up by the Veil Demon. So he's going to try and thwart you. Now, com thwart. <laughs> now, complete the objectives and you and your squad get to choose a new passive for your hero. So you get to choose between three different choices. But if the Veil Demon wins that room, then it gets the choice of a new passive. So either you get more powerful or the demon does with each room as you progress through the dungeon of course until you finally get to the end boss. Now there is currently six hero classes of magic to choose from in Breach. Arcane, Battle, Dark, Hedge, Shadow and of course the Tech Magic class. Each of these classes have of course got certain subclasses as well like Hedge has a Demon Hunter subclass or another magic school has a Necromancer which can summon undead minions or there is a Lich class, an engineer that can drop down turrets, or there's even a dual wielding gunslinger as well. Now there's tank classes, healers, and of course one of these classes I've seen in one of the videos can put down a protective dome over you, kind of like Frost if you play a Warframe. And now another really nice twist that the developers have done with this kind of hero selection process is that you can take abilities from one subclass and add them to another if the other subclass kind of shares the same school of magic. So you can kind of mix and match abilities and customize your hero to suit your own playstyle. So there is a lot of options for you. Now on top of this you can also find and equip gems that can increase certain stats like damage, health, lifesteal, haste and so on. And I'm sure it will be a way for players to start min-maxing characters to help get the most out of running these dungeons and get through them as quick as possible. So you have plenty of options. Now you can unlock more heroes 
more of these subclass heroes with the gold that you earn in game some of the heroes cost about 5,000 gold whereas others can cost up on 10,000 gold so there is definitely some kind of a grind element there if you want to unlock heroes and not spend real money in the process so you're going to need a decent amount of gold to unlock some of I guess the better subclasses now of course multiple different veil demons need to be unlocked as well for the price of this gold that you're farming and with them there's going to come new abilities and new ways to I guess piss off the team you're up against now like I said it is a free to play game which means there is going to be some form of microtransactions even AAA fucking games are doing it nowadays but from what I've seen with Breach is that all of these kind of microtransactions seem to be skins and boosters there doesn't seem to be any kind of a pay to win model which is great now you can of course choose to get the usual like all free to play games founders packs and all of that which will unlock a lot of the classes for you for real money but again entirely up to you breach of course has got some serious potential for fun and i'm definitely digging the twist of adding the veil demon as another player to go up against a squad of heroes that's running through this dungeon while also allowing players to mix and match different abilities from the same school of magic it's going to give a lot of build option for heroes and allow you to perfect your hero of choice my only concern with playing this game would be maybe getting bored of the repetitive nature of running the same dungeons over and over again but maybe once they eventually release a lot more tile sets or a lot more dungeons for you and your squad to actually run up against then that would be taking away it wouldn't feel as repetitive now i'm not sure whether there's going to be any other type of game modes or will it be just the four versus one i guess we'll know at a future date right now breach is only available on pc but it does look like the type of game that could easily be brought across onto console and it is out later this week i think on pc the 17th i believe but let me know in the comment section below what you think of breach if you manage to jump into it like i said earlier i had a lot of fun over the weekend playing it so it is definitely worth taking a look at since it is free to play do me a huge favor hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't let me know if you want to see more breach and as always thanks very much for watching